How's it going everybody, Machalo? And today we are going to do a follow-up new test video to my last video, Is Google Always Listening? And this time we are not going to include the fatal flaw of that last test, which was that I was live streaming, which meant of course my video and audio was being recorded the whole time, sent to Google and processed into automatic closed captioning, created a little text file. So I obviously can't ruin this experiment like that one. So this time I'm going to pre-record it and then upload the raw footage. So. Everything else I will try to make as similar as possible to the last experiment, except for it won't be live streams. So instead of writing the product that I have in mind on a piece of paper, I'll just put it on screen now. This is what we are going to talk about after I visit the web pages to see what advertisements pop up. So you can see that product now. Let's go to FARC again, open up a bunch of websites, see what advertisements are on them, and then uh, close the browser, talk about this product, and then go back to those web same websites and see if any advertisements for this product pop up. So let's go ahead and go to uh, Fark now. Now I had already um, logged back into my uh, Chrome account, but I had already deleted all of my search history and my uh, cookies and all that. So it should uh, be a pretty blank slate here. Now everybody complained that I didn't see the advertisements on Fark the first time. So this time let's take a look at them. We have Flex Jobs here advertisement and World's Most Advanced PCs advertisement. Now let's open up some websites. Uh, Fox, I said duck, whatever. Um, at random here, Fox News, I already opened up a Fox one, whatever. Newsweek, Mail Online is always good. Yeah, Imager, I don't know, Tampa Bay. Okay, and Mirror, Mirror is good, let's do that. Let's go ahead and see what we have for advertisements on these. Schools are removing analog clocks from exam halls as teenagers cannot tell time. I doubt that, I'm sure that they can tell time. What they mean is they can't understand analog clocks. Anyways, uh, we have a shoe advertisement from Brooks, okay? That's what we see on this website. Next page. Um, lots of advertisements. Over here, it looks like you can buy yourself a gray cat. Over here, it looks like you can buy yourself a burglar with a knife. Over here, it looks like you can buy yourself a black remote. Down here, you can buy yourself a white guy. I gotta, sounds like my family's home. I gotta close the door. Okay, so it's just you and me, everybody. Not my kids, not my wife, uh, but this one's rife with advertisements too. Here is a woman looking uh, at math equations and it's freaking her out. <laughs> Here we have Direct TV Now, which is um, like TV. You can get some TV directly. Close this web page. We're done with that. On this web page, here is a woman standing there with eyeglasses. Again, another glasses advertisement. And, and and that same gray cat. People don't want that cat. They're trying to sell it. Do you want to buy the cat? Airlines have a huge problem with passengers stealing pillows and blankets. I've never been given a pillow or a blanket on an airline. So, oh, first class passengers are stealing them. That makes sense. All right. And over here we have Comcast Business. Ooh, we had a direct TV ad and now we have a Comcast ad. So they're competing. You can tell. They got ad campaigns being directed, but I don't have TV, I have internet. No cable, I'm a cord cutter as they call them. Here we have a Bed Bath & Beyond ad at Newsweek, the Virginia newspaper, which has a headline, Virginia newspaper runs KKK recruitment flyer in full on front page, which is pretty hilarious. Or I suppose if you're black, it's not hilarious at all because the KKK, if you don't know, are a racist organization. And I think what they desire the most is no black people. And so, um, yeah, here they have an advertisement. Call now, national hotline, join the KKK. This woman called, I want to join the KKK, she said. And they said, no, you're black. We don't want you, but she didn't get it. Uh, what have we got down here? Here's a man doing a Heil Hitler uh, high five or whatever. And he's got a little hood on with a little spiky cap and little eye holes cut out. And he looks ridiculous, but he thinks he's in a cool club uh, that is just hateful and terrible. And he hates black people. Now here's DailyMail.com, uh, AARP ad over here and uh, AAA ad over here. Okay, and a woman with a giant fog of vape coming out of her face, which is very, very sexy. It's not. Next ad, we have Squarespace, build your own website, Sam's Club, save some money. Um, uh, I can't see the whole ad. Oh, Otterbox, okay. 
Loveless, which is a local hospital in Albuquerque. Okay, so we have visited all the web pages, and now we can talk about our our product, which is Soylent. Okay, Soylent. I am a vegan, and I want to drink Soylent. It's a product I've heard is really tasty, and I just don't know where to buy it. So if somebody was selling it, I would be sure to buy some immediately. Soylent sounds like a really delicious drink, and... I would pay probably $50 for a 12 pack of Soylent. Whoever's selling it, I have that money in my wallet right now and I will gladly give it to you if you are selling Soylent. You have a variety of flavors, uh, cherry perhaps, chocolate and vanilla. I'll drink all of them. Um, I need the protein because I'm a vegan and I sure hope that those caps aren't screwed on too tight because but my tiny little vegan arms might not be able to open the top. But uh, you know, we don't know. You'll have to go ahead and fill us in whether or not uh, I, I mean, I'll find out when you send me the bottle of Soylent, the product Soylent, the drink Soylent, and I get to buy that and drink it and find it delicious, um, whether or not it's got a hard to open cap. So we'll find out if I buy that. And whether or not I buy that depends entirely on whether or not I, I, I see an opportunity to find it. Ooh, uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to get it. It's going to have to present itself to me. Uh, Soylent, 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 Soylent. I think that's enough, guys. Let's go ahead and go back to the website and see what we find. Bark, and we'll go to the same websites. I think we open this one. Maybe we open that one. I don't know. Maybe that one. We definitely open that one. Didn't we open the BDC? Okay, that's enough. I think we opened all those, right? Oh, I said duck. Definitely opened that one. Okay, so what have we got? Schools are removing analog clocks, right? And the advertisement is uh, just for, oh, over here on the side banner, we have the top 10 places for you, the top 10 places to take your wife's boyfriend. I don't know what that means. Has nothing to do with Soylent though. And then there is also a Nintendo Switch advertisement. Great. Nothing to do with Soylent though. Over here, two fire strike high rise. Um, and above there we have a banner for find local bowls in your uh, neighborhood. Mm, interesting. Satisfy your wife now. I don't know why you would want to buy bowls, but again, has nothing to do with Soylent. Uh, over here, we have ADT ad, which is just home security system, which is just fine. Uh, and then over here, we have uh, uh, getting along with your wife's boyfriend. Again, don't understand what that's about, but again, has nothing to do with Soylent. Health warnings after toxic caterpillar outbreak. Toxic caterpillars are killing Londoners. Great. That makes a lot of sense. Londoners would be killed by toxic caterpillars. And Tampa Bay Times, Volkswagen, um, nothing here. And finally, we just have double uh, AAA advertisement plus over here a uh, Nintendo Switch advertisement. Okay, so... Nothing to do with Soylent. No products for Soylent popped up. I didn't expect them to because we weren't live streaming this time. And I just, you know, I'm pretty convinced that our microphones aren't listening. Um, if I missed anything or, or if uh, you saw a Soylent ad or something related to Soylent, go ahead and tell me in the comments. Otherwise, this experiment has proven nothing because I still don't know whether or not our microphones are always listening. But... Um, at least I did another test. So thanks everybody for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. And as always, please subscribe.